Alright. Starting streaming. Making sure everything's gone live. It says we're live. So. Check on my end. There we go. I'm just going to share it real quick. Yep, that's up. Are you currently watching? Uh, I, I've not turned it on yet, but I will. Hmm. It just says I have one current viewer, which is probably myself, because I'm watching my own stream, obviously, but, you know. Let me open this so I can see the chat. Yeah, I'm actually very happy that I decided to take a look and see um, about thumbnails and whatnot. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hearing myself on your end. Oh, um. Let me try these headphones. They're a different pair of headphones than normal. Okay. How, how do I sound? Just fine. Oh, it didn't work. Hang on. <laughs> I forgot there's an extra prompt I have to answer. How about now? Still fine. Still normal? Okay. Yeah. They're plug-in headphones, so they're not... They don't have a microphone in them. Gotcha. But I wanted to make sure it didn't... It wasn't being weird. Gotcha. Well, whenever you are ready to start that, baby. Uh... Uh, I will say hello, hello, everybody. It's, you know, Draconic Lich Gaming. I I'm actually going to be changing my channel name soon. Um, really? Yeah, I'm just going to change it to the DLG. Um, make life easy, you know. So it's easier to search. Yeah. Ah, we got a new viewer. Hello. Uh, roll. Control I. Which one? Control I. I think you're gonna win. Yeah, yeah. definitely one. Uh, I'm gonna go second, so I'll just give you that. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my hand. Just saying. Uh, I'm not, because I have zero lands. Okay. I have two. But. They are fetch lands, so I'm happy about that. I have two, but I'll pick it, so. Uh, what did I end up with? Oh, my new. The third viewer left, so. Oh, bad. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I. I know it's spelled wonky and whatnot, so if I can change the channel name to the DLG, make it, you know, it's still Draconic Lich Gaming. But a lot easier to find. You know? M? Uh, is it fair enough? Uh, you, I didn't hear you at all. Sorry. It's your turn. I know. There you go. Uh, crack that. It's like riding a bicycle. If. Well, I was just trying to figure out, like, where I should go. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna play an underground sea. Because I don't have any way of getting black. So, for right now, I'll do that. Pass. Oh, I got another viewer. Hello! Welcome to the stream. Uh, if you want to talk, talk. We're here to chat. Playing some magic. I'm kind of scared about her deck, in all honesty. Uh, you probably shouldn't be, because... <laughs> I just kind of added cards without... 
really knowing what I was doing. Hell, I've done more damage to myself than a burn deck has to me. Um, I run a lot of blue, so I'll probably grab a blue-red. There it is. And pass. Uh. Well. <laughs> oh. I can't do anything. I told you I got two lands. Um. <laughs> oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! But I'm here. This this. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's not Yu-Gi-Oh. Trust me, I know nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh either. I too have to pass. I also have the discard card. I don't know what to discard because of the fact. Uh, want that card. Alright, I have to get rid of this. I don't want to because that's a huge combo piece of the deck, but you know. I'm sure there's some way of recurring. Um, still can't do anything. So oh, I'm gonna discard that and pass. <laughs> oh, lucky you! <laughs> yeah. Fuck, why did I Thanks get for him? Me. Mmm. Oh, I have to make a really hard choice. Alright. Man, this is really bad. Um... Pass. Don't mind that, Ajani. <laughs> I mean, uh, I get that, and I feel that. And hello, new viewer. What? What's your um? Trying to decide what to do. I see you have a mountain now. Yes. I have two choices. Two things I could do right now. Do it. I'm trying to decide which one to do. Then you get also Skyfire Phoenix, yeah. Uh, he doesn't have haste. No one does. Uh, the, uh, the Phoenix has haste, so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll attack you. Why not? There I'm just go. gonna take my three damage. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna put him right to the graveyard because I don't care. Um. Well, I guess I'm gonna suppose I should undo. Guess I can play my other one now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, I guess we'll we'll attack for now. Since apparently I have to attack with this deck, so. 
That's what I was advised. Um... I'll just attack with my phoenix again. The 3-3. Okay. Three, three. Can I get a land? Oh, that's a land. Alright, I'll pay the two. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. We are getting places now. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting far, but we got places. I need right. one more piece of land and it play all the cards in my hand. Mm -hmm. So I technically need two colors and then I can play all the colors in my hand. Uh, so that's blue or black. It's red or blue. Um, oh, this is green or red. So I can tap for blue, red. Blue. Uh, oh, black. What? Why is your mountain tapped? Because I was uh, just deciding what order I wanted to do stuff in. Gotcha. Uh. This way. Where to go? I'm gonna do this one. Um, uh, swing with my phoenix again. Uh, that's all I'll do. I hate to be the guy that does this, but um, you do remember you have a commander, right? What do you mean? Read it. I know. I. That's what I was trying to decide if I should do, but I wasn't gonna get the transform thing. So I probably should have done it anyway to get the damage, but I mean you could have attacked me and dealt yeah. three damage this turn with her. True. I'm just saying. Um hey, it's my first time using this deck, okay. <laughs> I understand. I'm just trying to make a point to you, you know. Alright. I'll grab some green and white. Oh, I forgot to untap. Sorry. I just You're I just saw a land and got excited and put it in the battlefield. It was like, oh, <laughs> land! Um, Trying to decide what I want to do. Yeah, I'll do this. Make my life easy. Green, one, two, and three. My devotion is less to five, but she still makes creature costs one less. So now I can play other gods for cheaper. Which is nice. It's real nice. No, no, I'm just like, uh, I'm not liking the music that I got going on right now, so I'm just oh, changing gotcha. it. Just changing things up is all. Alright, so what are you doing? I just played this, um, the Evercool Phoenix. Okay. Did you play it for its regular cost or the mutate cost? Just, uh... I'll explain mutate if you want me to. Yes, please, because I don't. Okay. I was not sure how that worked. Mutate. It's the same amount that you used to cast it. Um, mm -hmm. 
you would essentially attach the car like a card to it say you want to mm -hmm. add your handed hand in the forge it would gain the ability of sacrifice this creature whenever this creature mutates create a red artifact token named feather with one sacrifice and return target phoenix card from your graveyard to the battlefield so anytime that you mutate something you would get the feather okay um and you could and it so say like you put it on top of the hand in the forge it becomes the everquill phoenix and it okay. would gain all of his demigod abilities or you can put the demigod on top of the phoenix and it would gain all of the other abilities like they have all of the abilities of both but you can put those two creatures together pretty much So, say, like, you see how I have Fist of Suns? Uh, I would attach card to this. And now this, like, vanilla keen eye is on top. Uh -huh. So, it would be the 5 6 in all of its abilities. Mm -hmm. And then it would also be whatever the other ability. Like, it would have the effects of the other card. Um, okay. So, you're essentially just choosing which one has, like, which power and toughness you're keeping? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, I'll do the mutate then, I guess. Just tap for an extra one. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Do you do you do it while you're casting it, or can you just yeah, do no, it? Yeah, you you do it while you're casting it. Like it's a cast. So instead of so instead of just playing it, you would cast it. Uh, you'd mutate it on. Um, if you, it just really depends on like which one you want on top. Okay, but how much am I paying? It costs the same either way. What? It's mutate is red and three, where its yeah. regular cost is two red and two. So. Oh. Okay. Oh, I guess I just missed a mountain that I tried to tap then. Yeah. All right. So um, it costs the same either way. Uh, it just which one do you want on top? Just attach the card to it. So the. What? Okay. So you want the strength and or the power and toughness of. The demigod, then. On yeah. Top. Okay. Um, which would be devotion one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an eight three right now. I was actually about. Change. The phoenix doesn't count towards the devotion since it's a part. It's the same card now. Just so you are aware. Okay. It's the only shitty thing about uh, mutate. Understand, but <laughs> huh? I said I still don't really understand, but oh. Uh, you also I... get the ability, the, the feather there. There you go. Um. Oh, I forgot to tap my commander again. Ugh. Um. I'm on a. Might as well do my planeswalker thing. So you take deal one damage to target player or planeswalker, and one damage to one target creature. Well, the keen eye is not a damage or is not a creature, so okay. So it's just one damage to you then. Okay. Um. Control plus shift. Um... There you go. And then I'll just swing with my dudes. I guess. Which dudes? Um. Just tap them. Tap them. Yeah. Not all of them, because why not? Oh, okay. Then. Uh, that's five. Uh, thirteen. I'm trying to get used to this whole attacking on every turn thing. Uh, All right. Um. I 
blue, blue, one, two. Leyline of Anticipation. Um, really doesn't matter. Pass. Because I'm probably about to die next turn. <laughs> Which is why I should not have gotten rid of that one enchantment card. The sigil of the empty throne, I should not have gotten rid of it. Ah. Do you know why? Why? Because every time uh, I would have played an enchantment, I would have gotten a 4-4 four, four white angel. Ah, nice. Yeah. So I could start using it to block things. But, excuse me. You have damage on board, you have game on board, just saying. Yeah. I, I don't know I don't know what you were about to play, but I'm just telling you you have game on board just so you I was just go. gonna throw this though. <laughs> just actually a creature now. Yeah. He, had, he would have had haste and you would have been able to swing with him. Ironically enough, I got rid of the exact same one. He has haste? Yeah, he has haste. Oh. oh, other creatures have haste. Never mind. I was going to say it would. But I can still swing for 13. Uh, you can actually do 14 if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. With your Chandra. Actually, you could tap your Chandra the fire of Kaladash do the plus one from the Pyromaster and then untap Chandra when you played your god swung I for keep everything forgetting the two. <laughs> I know you did that's why I'm saying like now that it's game like yeah you could have done it turn two where you tapped her played the demigod untapped her and attacked with her and flipped her. Yeah, I keep I kept forgetting that like I have to do that before I play my spells. I wanna see what the Roaring Flame is. I made a token of it for myself. Deals two damage to target player. Uh minus two is deal to target creature. Minus seven is deal six damage to each opponent. Each player dealt damage this way, gets an emblem at the beginning of your upkeep. This emblem does three damage to you. Gross. It's a whole lot of fuck that card. <laughs> Alright. All right, well, I shall concede. You win. That was probably our fastest game yet. Yeah, because burn. That's what burn decks are supposed to do. <laughs> you wanna. You wanna have some fun. See so you can kill each other first. Sure. Alright. I'm ready. Okay. Keep, keep your burn deck. I hope you have your burn deck. Yep. Let's see if we can kill each other first. Uh, I'll choose second, by the way. Again, no lands. Oh my god. Oh. One that's any use to We'll just do this. I don't have anything. So I'm good. Okay. Draw. Ooh. I know I have at least one or two things that if you start the game with them, you can put them out. So I had to make sure I didn't have any of them. No, you're good. Uh, pass. Okay. God, I love the art for the snow covered mountain. Like, look at that. It's just fucking beautiful. I <laughs> love snow covered lands. They're my favorite lands in the game, and I'm so happy in the new set that they're coming out. Oh, I think I, I think I've talked this to death with you, but you know. Yes, yes, you have. It's cute. On stream, I haven't. So on stream, I will. <laughs> uh, so everybody is also aware on stream. Me and me and the girlfriend here, Emily, we have decided to buy a bunch of Caladium. If I'm yes. saying that correctly. <laughs> 
Take off. I'm pretty sure it's called home. Called home? Maybe it's called home. I'm pretty sure it's called home, or at least some variation of that. Yeah. I uh, think it's Cali like, I'm pretty sure it's called home. <gasps> oh. I think of the word Kalheim. Oh, Fraptious Day. Pass. <laughs> Do you just see what I did? I just ramped so hard on you. So cute. Uh, during your turn, I'm just gonna do this now, Mystical Tutor. Three. Three. Uh, Let me look through my sorceries first, see if there's anything in particular that I want. Um, we will get the two more lands, I guess. Search for two basic land cards that share a land type. So just two mountains. All I have. <laughs> yeah. And then that goes to the graveyard? Yes. And... Done. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put this card on the top of my deck. Okay. I have to reveal it to you, because... Uh, search your library for an instant or sorcery card, reveal that card, shuffle your library and put it on the top, so instead of putting it on the top, I'm just going to draw that card down. Just so no fuckery happens, eh? Um... Oh, you cracked your mirror. I was wondering why you had more land than I did. I was like, ah, uh, excuse you. What the fuck happened? I was not looking. <laughs> Maybe you should be paying attention. Uh, you, you're right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap one blue and I'm going to play opt. Scry one. So I'm going to look at the top of my library. Mm. Move that to the bottom. Draw a card. Okay. Then I'm gonna tap two and play this one. Uh, scry two and then draw a card. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna draw. And then for a red and two, I'm going to play Gutter Simp. And pass. Ooh, yay. Look at that. That was, that was, that was some sexy playing of the late game. <laughs> Got a Gutter Snipe out of it. I'm fucking happy. Or... Ta da! Oh, that's not you. There we go. Um, obviously, tuning, choosing Phoenix because. Okay. Obviously. Um, and that is all I can do. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um, so, did you, did you set your health? I didn't. I was like, I was like, how are you that low on health already? <laughs> Thank you for making a note, because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I was uh, just like... I did not do that much damage. I haven't done any damage. I'm gonna do play ponder. So I take two damage. Yep. Um. I'm gonna draw one in particular, but I'm gonna just put the other two back. Uh. Yeah. 
put those two back like that. So I drew the one card. That was going to be the card I drew. Yep. Um, blue and two, I'm going to play as foretold. Much better than what I thought I was going to end up doing because, my god, as we're told, is amazing right now. <laughs> early early game, Soul Ring, Dark Steel Ingot, and as we're told, ooh, that's, that's some. Oh, and a Gutter Snipe in a burn deck. That's uh, spicy right there. Um, oh, I take another two damage. It is not an instant or sorcery, so you don't. Oh, my bad. I read it. Um, but for that, I shall pass so I can start getting some ticks on the as we're told. Doesn't pay off this turn, this coming turn, but it'll start to pay off next turn. Like in technical two turns from now, it start it begins to pay off. Ugh. This one. Okay. Um, I create a token copy of it. Uh, clone. Yep. Okay. That is exiled at the beginning of the end step, or the next, the next. Yeah, at the beginning of the end step. It says the next end step, which means that the next, the the next available one. So at the end of this turn, it goes away. Okay. I wasn't sure how that exactly worked. So am I taking Able. six damage then, since you have to attack with them? Yes. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay. Okay. Uh, ticking that up. I'll do red. <laughs> Uh, I got a land now. Um. You know what? I'm gonna preemptively do something here. Blue, one, and three. Frozen Aether. Oh. Artifacts, creatures, and land your opponent's control come into play tapped. So every time you play something now, it's coming into the battlefield tapped. So all of your tokens will come in tapped. So that's fun. Ah. Uh, with that, I'm sure pass. <sighs> and the game is afoot. Hmm? I said, and the game is afoot. Ah. Oh. into the battle fight tapped. Oh, yeah, so I guess there's no point in me making the token then. Yep. 
Um, well, yeah, I was gonna say if with this thing it's had a certain ability with it, but it gets exiled and doesn't die, so never mind. Um, so that doesn't. Uh, yeah, you take the three damage. That's it. You're gonna fly in for three. Yeah. Okay. Well, he has to attack, so... Right. He is also tapped now. That's why I was wondering what you were doing. I was like, oh, what? What's going My on? My bad. Are you fine? For... <laughs> um, red counter. Uh, this is my upkeep, so not when I draw. So I can play this for free. Um... Take one card straight to my hand. Oh. How did you play that for free? As we're told. Oh, okay, gotcha. Just. You're good. I got confused. <laughs> oh, I take two. Do. Yep. Put one card in my hand, and then the rest to the bottom of my library in any order. Graveyard for you. Um. Start my turn. I'll tap Soul Ring. Arcane Signet. And then I shall... Do I do... Play the card I just pulled in my hand. And from there, I have to pass. Because I can't do anything else. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Counter. So does it go back to my command thing? It would die and then you can put it into command zone from there. Uh, you also take two damage. Gutter sight. There we go. Always fear the blue player if he leaves blue mana open. I'm assuming I'm taking seven now because of that. Baby. Sorry, thinking. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to make sure that, like, it didn't disconnect my voice or something. You know? Nope, maybe. I was just thinking. Mm. Yeah, why not? Might as well do this. Target creature. So I can kill your gutter snipe, dude. Okay. Why not? Uh, you oh. put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library if you do draw a card. So are you gonna, like... So you're killing gutter snipe then, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> um... So, untap? I didn't, it's fine. What? I didn't attack. <laughs> oh, okay. Meant to. Uh, so technically you should still take that three, but... Yeah, I have to take the three. My bad. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take the three. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Um... With as foretold, and... I'm gonna play Anger of the Gods for three. Your cards become exiled. Mm. 
because they both die. Um, your rekindling phoenix does get its trigger, but it'll exile after the fact. Point. And draw a card for my turn. Uh, scolding turn. And from here, I shall cast my commander. One, two, three, four. He's not a creature. And from there, I shall pass. Because I can't do anything else, because he's not a creature. Comes in tap. Sorry. You're fine. I think I built this deck for you and gave it to you at one point in time. What? Yeah. This blue what? this blue red deck that I have. I have two decks. Now three. Well technically now four. I felt like I I swear I made this for you and sent it to you. No. It's been a while since I made it, but I've you didn't even. Oh wait, no, no, man. This is not the same deck. No, but no. I, I'm saying the deck that I'm playing. I could have swore I gave it to you. Yeah. No, I I was thinking of your last deck, and I was like, you didn't even make that. No, the last deck I completely ripped offline. But like I said, it would have been something I would have made. So, you know. I don't. Know. Um. Yes. Yeah. Alright, comes in tap. Yeah. Like you do. Okay. Okay, so as we're told, trigger to once each turn. Okay, cool. Um, and now my draw step. I'm just gonna reveal it by dropping it onto the thing. It's a land, so I get to draw. Whenever you reveal a land card this way, draw a card. So I just draw a card off of that. Um. Hmm. She is five. Well, I mean, I have the five, but. Gotta go find myself a mountain now. No, come and tap because I can't. I don't want to start losing too much life. Um, red, 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 two. I'll play her, which actually might him put might make him a creature now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, he's a creature. He's online. Um, I 
right? I'm gonna plus one her and give myself, um... Oh, I didn't know you could do that the first turn they were out. Huh? I didn't know you could do that the first turn they were out. They're not a creature. They don't have haste. You can do them as soon as you put them on the field. I did not know that. Yep. Uh, I'm putting her to six. And just giving myself the three mana, but I don't have instants or sorceries to cast it with. What's going on? I, I think this is not responding. I think I buffed her up too much. I don't know. Six. There we go. There. Okay. It wasn't responding to the command that I was giving it. Um, so I'll just give myself three red, which will just vanish at the end of this turn. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to pass. I think that uh, I think the elemental wolf is still watching. If you are, say something. Say hello. Um, I'm down to talk. Yeah, we're always down to chat with the people on the stream. Gives us something to talk about as well. Love interacting with my community. How long are we going at it? What? I was just wondering how long we've been going at it. Like I playing. No uh, about 50 minutes. Um. What's up? So, what's his power? Does my demigod power? He's a 6'3. 6'3? Yep. Six, three. Bring it. <laughs> Kranos, god of storms, will deal with you. What? My my god is online, just so you are aware. He's a creature now. Oh, I've got a good pair of them. It's fine. Untap. I'll keep. You forget for draw. Okay. Um, I will reveal it and deal three damage to you, and then I shall. Then I just add that card to my hand. It sucks telling you that I have a counter spell, but uh. <laughs> I mean, you know. Is it whenever I draw a card? No, it's the first card. Damn. Because then if I had... This, with uh, with the Planeswalker, I could have plus one or discarded the thing, revealed the next card, and possibly drew some more, but... It's fine, I shall just control shift plus, give myself three mana to miss with, because I can't just counter anything, and pass. Oh my god, I'm tapped right now. Comes and tap that mountain, there you go, sorry. Good. I realized it as soon as you started saying it, I was like, oh. No point in doing that. All right. Mm. Mm, all right. I forgot to tag again. Oh my god. It's cool. I'm not used to this. Alright. I forgot what that exactly does. I think it 
does exactly what I think it does, but I don't remember offhand 100%. Wait, description. Duh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I'm gonna reveal it and deal three damage to the Phoenix. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. This is just dead though, right? Yeah, it just goes back to your hand. It's not exiled. Hey, the only reason why I'm doing that is because that's the only thing that can get around the god. And I'm like, mm, I don't like that. You know? Why can that get around the god? Because it has flying. Oh. Uh, plus her up again. And I really don't have anything else I can do, so pass. phone locked oh no how can i tell if people are talking to me they're not i appreciate that third person that's been chilling this whole time you know you're 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 pretty cool i don't know who you are but you're pretty cool I'm not gonna forget this time. What you swinging um, at? I shouldn't attack though, cause you're gonna kill him. I can. Right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's an eight three now. This is true. What you're swinging at? Um. Uh, oh, but I do a trample. Yep. Go ahead. If it dies, oh, I'm gonna attack with this guy. T to me or? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, you can't attack specific thing. You can attack Planeswalkers freely. Oh, okay. Well, just you. Okay, I'm gonna block and just take two damage with the god. He doesn't die. Oh, but your thing would die, so... What? When I block, you deal the eight damage and it deals the six damage. My god has indestructible. Uh, your two damage goes over mine and you know, affects me, but the six damage still hits you. Oh, create two of them. Oops. Oh, you're right from the last one. Um, what? I said you're right from the, the, the other phoenix that got popped your hand. Oh, no, I meant because if it has power four or greater. Oh. I didn't even think of the other phoenix. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't have to untap anything. All right. Uh, I'll keep. Move the counter. Draw a card. Reveal it. Um, I'll deal the three damage to you. 
I'm going to create the emblem and kill Jaya. That's why I wanted her all along and that's why I was really worried you were about to attack her. I was like, no, I'm about to fucking pop her. Uh, I may cast instants and sorcery cards from my graveyard now. If this card would be cast this way, it'd be exiled after casting. Um, and I have a couple of instants and a couple of sorceries I can play with now. Mainly, I'm going to cast Opt. Um, with that. So I will scry one. Hmm. And draw one. Okay. Exiled. I will play Anticipate. Uh, one and one, so one, one. Look at the top three. Take one to my hand. The rest of the bottom of the library. Exiled. Um, anything else about drawing cards? Yeah, I got a ponder. Sorry, I have been really lacking on being able to draw cards, and that's this gave me everything I needed. Uh, tapping Arcane Signet to look at the top three cards of my library. Um, and draw a card, exile ponder, and finally, last but not least, preordain. Scry to draw a card, which I shall move both of those to the bottom of my library and then draw a card and exile that. Extremely effective. All right, now I can also, I have a land I can play now. Um. I have this I'm playing for free off of As Foretold because I can do it once per turn of anything below seven or seven or less, and that is less than seven. And then I don't think I have enough now because I've just played a bunch. One, two, three, one. Two, three. No, I'm shy. I'm really shy on that. Uh, and from there, I shall. Mm, hmm. I'll pass from that point. Chandra.
What's your plus one? I'm just gonna do the exiled upgrade library. Okay. Ooh. I cannot. Oof. So I take two damage? Yeah. You understand that when it says players can't gain life, that means both player, yeah, all players can't gain life and damage can't be prevented to anyone? Yes. Okay, just, just making sure you understood that. Okay. What you doing then, baby? I don't know. I'm trying to decide, because there's not really a point in me attacking, because anything I attack with is just gonna die. Uh, any of the flying creatures can get over. You got one flying creature. True. Just making a note of it. I'm not saying you have to, just letting you know you have one. Might as well. Okay. Untap from that explosive last turn. Uh, revealing a card. It's a land, so I draw off of it. Um, and counter. Eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn. Alright. Omniscience. I can play anything in my land my hand for free without paying its mana cost. Um Gonna play an Evolving Wilds and crack it. Get a basic. I'll pull a snow covered island. It's the battlefield tapped. Organizing, sorry. Um, don't really like anything that's on the field besides my god. Um, I think for now, all I'm gonna do is... You know what? Fuck it. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, because I'm playing him off of Omniscience, um, creates a copy of any artifact or creature on the battlefield, since... The Guy of Storms is a creature. I'm able to make a copy of him. No. He's a legendary creature. He'll kill himself. Never mind. I can't do that. Um... I'll make a copy of your phoenix. And pass. That's a lot of land. 
and you're tapping. I'll be Immortal Phoenix. Do you not have any, like, burn spells in your hand? Mm. Like, you don't have to show me or anything like that. I'm just, like, looking at life totals and I'm like, do you not... ...tab those? Doing. Hmm. Oh, don't know what I can really use for this, but do something, I guess. It has to be a creature. I can get rid of the phoenix you just <laughs> copied, I guess. I need that phoenix, so I'm gonna Narset's Reversal on it. You can put that back in your hand. Um, and I'll deal three damage to the Arch type of aggression. Since I have to choose a creature. Sorry, I'm trying to keep myself alive from your phoenix. Uh, reveal it. I get to draw a card off of it. Draw three cards. Ooh, okay. Um, well, first, that. Uh, you know, I'll just play the as uh, off of as we're told. Um, and then put two cards on top of my library in any order. Um, One and two. I'll play Terramorphic Expanse. Go find myself a basic land, put it on the battlefield tapped. And then I'll play Jace, Wonder, Wielder of Mysteries for free off of Omniscience. Um, and I shall plus him, and I will choose myself as the target. I'll mill two cards and then draw a card. Make life easy, and I'm gonna move all my mana rocks into one pile down here, except for Soul Ring. I'm gonna put that in its own little thing. I'll play Stranglehold for free. Um, and then from there, pass.
But this is supposed to be a blue and red burn deck. Uh, I'm not doing a lot of burning. Neither am I, so... Uh, fair enough. I've done a lot of drawing, which I mean I'm cool with. I've drawn 16 more cards than you have. I'm gonna change the music again. It's uh. Don't know what to do. How about this? I will allow you to play your commander without me stopping. Stopping it, like, you know, countering it. though so you can at least have something see here's here's something in magic that in like my friend group we don't actually do a lot it's politics um it's where you sit down you actually like talk to the person across the table from you and you make deals i'm giving you a deal that'll benefit you i won't counter your thing and that's that's all i ask you don't actually... If you don't attack me with your Immortal Phoenix this turn, I'll let you play your commander. How's that sound for a deal? Fine, whatever. Why'd you get upset about that? I, once you explained it, I was somewhat okay with it, but you know I don't like it when you're like, oh, I'll just let you do this. Well, no, like, I, I was trying to think of, like, a way of not, like, being like, oh, I'll let you do this. Um, it's more or less, like, I don't want to be attacked by that immortal phoenix, because, like, I, you're, the phoenix I stole from you will die, and then I'm, like, kind of defenseless. So, like, if I get a turn of protection out of it, I'm cool, you know? Plus, your commander comes in tapped and can't go active anyway. So, you know what I mean? To me, it's a win situation. I get to live an extra turn. Guess I'm not taking two damage. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, untap. I gotta put up the as foretold thing. This is what I drew, so I get another draw. Um. Shimmer possibility. I'm going to look at the top four cards of my library. I'm going to just add one of them to my hand. Or put one of them to my hand. And the rest to the bottom of my library. Which, you know what, when it goes to the graveyard, I'm going to play it again. Because of the thing. And exile it. Um... 
going to play Raal for free off of Omniscience. And I'm also going to play Consecrated Phoenix for free off of Omniscience. Huh? Sphinx? Sphinx, sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna plus two him and scry one. Moving into the bottom of my library. And now I will plus one Jace. Uh, mill two cards and then draw one. Play a Kamian Tower. I mean, I know this doesn't affect you, but I'm just going to put a card out there to have a card out there. Uh, Blood Moon. All my non-basic lands are now mountains, so like any of my dual lands are just straight mountains now. Granted, because of Chromatic Lantern, uh, my lands all have tapped, add one mana of any color, so it doesn't really matter. But, because of Blood Moon, they're all just basic mountains now. Okay. Yep. Um... And like I said, for you, it doesn't really matter. Actually, your artifact land becomes a mountain. It's the only only real difference out of your entire board. Let's see. Oh, and your castle Emberth becomes a mountain. Um, do you have anything else going on here? No, I don't, so I'm just going to pass. And... As you draw a card because of Consecrated Sphinx, I will draw two. good over there? You kind of shut down and talking. Sorry, I'm attempting to figure out how to survive. You're good. Um. Okay. In all honesty, you're in a better seat than I am. I might have more cards, but... You definitely have a lot more power going on for you. Mm -hmm. I've heard to do one damage to you. Okay. And then, uh... Plus one. Tap one. Do this. Damn it, I didn't want to get rid of my isolation. What are you doing? I played. I got five mana. How'd you get five mana? Yes. Oh. In my graveyard. Gotcha. Um, since you cast a red spell, she untaps. Yep. 
And then I'm gonna tap her again for one damage. Yep. Okay. Yeah, everything. Oop. Earthquake. So you take seven damage? I believe I just tapped eight. Earthquake deals X damage to each creature without flying and each player. Oh, okay. Um just tapped eight, so you take seven. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to counter that. Where was I at? Where started this? 15. Uh, I'm going to negate that. Uh, you still played the spell, so you get to untap your creature regardless, but... That's my attempts at living. <laughs> You can still deal the one more damage to me and, you know, yeah. yeah. Flipper. I actually have a question for you for... Did you put Chandra's Regulator in here, the artifact? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I know it does something with Chandra abilities. That's the only reason why I ask. Um, I, might have. I don't remember at this point. Okay. Is it four? Can I post her now or no? Yeah, you can post her right now. Um, you can I'll actually minus her if you wanted to, too. Just saying. Okay. You take two damage. You gonna plush torture defiance at all? I already did. Oh, for the two extra mana? Yep. Okay. Um For the end of your turn I'm just gonna brainstorm. Mm. second here yep just putting these on top all right go do what i'm gonna swing up both my phoenixes okay um i'm gonna block the immortal phoenix with the consecrated phoenix and i'll block the other phoenix with my phoenix so they just bounce off each other they don't kill each other uh, okay. but your immortal phoenix will die Untap, draw, reveal, draw again. Did I, I forgot to put brainstorm in the exile? Must not land it. Sorry. Um. play this card for free. Um, just because of omniscience. I'm going to play this card for free off of omniscience. And I'll play this card off of as foretold for free. Man, I really love as foretold omniscience combo. Kind of makes as foretold a little pointless, but you know. It's, it's so good. Um, I shall... Plus Rowl's Is It Victory? Or... or vis Visery? This 
six. I'll look at. Oh, I forgot that the other rail has been doing damage. Um, from brainstorm, you would have taken one damage from the other rail. Sorry. This is a you may thing. No, it's a, it's a, you have to thing. Sorry. Um. Look at the top two cards a lot in my library. I get to put one in my hand, and then the other one. Oh, what just happened? Okay then. Good. Yeah, no, it just like pulled everything up. Um. I'll take John or Jor in Rune Diver, and I'll have put Rewind in my graveyard because I can at least still cast it from there. Uh, and then I will also up Jace. And target myself, milling the top two cards. No, my Chandra. Ah, oh, Rue Six. Oh, damn it. Hmm. 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 I'm not happy about what just happened there. Should have scribed before I did that. Fuck. Well, that kind of upsets me. <laughs> Point John. I'll draw two cards because you drew a card. Gotta flash out Hole Reacher on your turn. Okay. Uh, if an opponent would draw a card except the first one they draw each turn, uh, I instead make treasure tokens. You can't draw more than one card a turn now. I'm gonna. Deal five damage to any target whenever I cast a spell. Huh? I said I now deal five damage to any target whenever I cast a spell. Oh, yeah, Chandra. Did you make the token or the emblem? I don't know. Just right click there. it. There you go. <sighs> Fuck, I should have attacked. I didn't even realize. Mm -hmm. I've been playing the back burner for safety so that I can keep some life, but I did not pay attention. And that is going to kill me right here. Yep. Am I taking the five or are you dealing five to something I got? You. Okay, that's what I thought. You've been countering me at every fucking good chance I have. Yeah. That's what the deck does. I don't want to do anything. Plus her for another two damage. Which one? No. You? No, I meant like which card are you plusing? Oh, you have the Chandra? Yeah. Um. Still can't really kill you though, so. Alright, I'm gonna do a thing. Actually, I can't do a thing on your turn right now, so. I have to wait till my turn to do it. Well, it's gonna be your turn because I can't do anything, so. Okay. I 
shall draw a card, reveal it. It's a land. Draw another. I'm just gonna play this land. Um. Blue, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cyclonic Rift. Go for game after that. Six. Nine, thirteen. Oh, this would flip. I forgot. Um, so yeah, six, nine, thirteen. Mm -hmm. 16 that would be 22 24 27 exactly and exile the top card of your deck real quick uh, oh well I'm not going to do that because with the primal storm I could have played that for free it would have killed everything in the attack before the attack happened. But, uh, I, I swing for game. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say we call it here. Baby. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna mute Discord real quick. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. I am deafened. So, with that said, thank you all so much for checking out tonight's game. Um, this has been Commander with the girlfriend. She built a good deck. I'm very actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unmute myself for this. Emily, I wanted to say you built an amazing deck. It works good. Um, sure. huh? I just left. No, oh. it's it's a decent. It's a good burn deck. Like, there are some modifications that I would make. Um. But, I mean, any deck can be modified. Any deck should be updated. Every deck should be updated constantly, you know? My decks... Uh, any deck, you know? Um, but, with that said, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed having my ass kick the first round and being able to come back the second. Granted, I probably played a little bit too on fair because I have a lot of cancel and she does not so you know but uh yeah thank you all so much for checking out the stream I hope you all end a wonderful night um I'm gonna try to put the deck lists in the description uh so that way anybody can copy these decks and play them the god deck I did not make, so I don't know if I'll put that one in the description or not. I think I'm going to try to make a better one. And I'll come back and put maybe that one in the description or the next time I play with it. Then I'll put that in the description. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful night tonight. Good night.